improved to a perfect 7-0 with my highest rated basketball plays this season as Philadelphia got the winning cover last night at New Jersey. Hi guys, Al DeMarco here and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. Boy, I'll tell you, it was a close call down the stretch for the Sixers. You know my previous three 15-time best bets in the NBA earlier this month. Uh, all side selections won by a combined 62 points. Last night, whew, I'll tell you, the Sixers almost blew it there. Uh, had a big lead in the second half, but, you know, they uh, needed a couple of Andre Iguodala free throws to really saw away the win and the cover at New Jersey. But the bottom line is this, you know, when I go over to the Golden Nugget and I cash my ticket, they aren't going to say, I'm sorry, Al, we can only pay you 70% of your winnings because the Sixers didn't win by double digits. It doesn't work that way. You win, you lose, you cover. They're about the only three certainties in this gambling business that we all enjoy, right? So, Sixers got the job done, 7-0 and with those plays in the NBA and college hoops combined this year, 15-3 and the past two years. Uh, same plays that I cashed uh, on Sunday and Monday in the NFL, Sunday with the Eagles and Cowboys over, Monday night with the Giants getting the job done over the Vikings, now 32-17-2 and with those plays in pro football the past three years combined. Now, for tonight, nothing is strong. But still, remember, 99% of my plays are rated between 5 and 15 dimes. And I'm going to take a look at the Boston-New York contest tonight. You've got two red-hot teams. A Celtics team that's won 10 in a row overall, 5 straight on the road, giving up an average of just 86.1 points a game. You've got a Knicks team that's won 13 out of 14, including 8 straight on the season, New York averaging a league best 108.5 points a game during their current eight game winning streak in which Amari has scored 30, more, 30 or more in every single one of those eight games. They are averaging 114.5 points a game. Something is going to give here. Either these two teams are going to meet in the middle, the Celtics are going to exercise their defensive muscles, or the Knicks are going to continue to put points up on the board at will. I think the best bet in this game is going to be the total, and that's what I've got tonight. That's what I'm playing, and that's what I encourage you to play. Now, for your free pick, let's face it, it's a lousy card tonight, okay? Your free pick, I'm going to give a shot with the Celtics. First time these two met early in the season, October 29th, uh, the Celtics won by four only at home. True, they have won 13 of the last 15 games in the series, but when have the Knicks last been relevant? And relevant really is a good word to apply to the Knicks. I mean... When Starks and Patrick Ewing were wearing a uniform and in the starting lineup, I mean, it's been a long, long dry spell for the Knicks, right? So, I like the way they're playing. I love the way Raymond Felton is playing since he got out of Charlotte. I mean, you can see his talent surfacing now that he's in a system that allows him to run the floor, be aggressive, and dish the ball with reckless abandonment, but in a controlled environment. And he's really doing a great job with the pick and roll with Amari. Is it as good as Amari and Steve Nash in Phoenix? No, but pretty damn impressive, right? And listen, you know, the Celtics, I think, are going to have problems stopping him just like everybody else has this season. So I'm going to grab the four points for your free pick. And again, the total is going to be my best bet tonight in the game I'm wagering on. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Thursday.